hey there everybody, welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. So in front of us today we have two packages of biscuits and gravy from Mountain House. Now, I don't know about y'all, but Mountain House biscuits and gravy is, well, Mountain House in general is one of the most consistent freeze-dried brands out there. And their biscuits and gravy is probably one of my favorite meals just period so this is our standard pack you'll find this basically everywhere walmart you name it this however i just recently bought online i think i might have got this through rei but i don't remember anyway so this is <laughs> classic original recipe biscuits and gravy i have no idea if there's a difference but we are going to find out why because we have to <laughs> we have to figure it out. All right, so this is a three serving, this is a two serving. So our calorie counts and nutritional facts are gonna be slightly different there. There are those if you're interested in that. So 560 for the entire package. This three serving is 900 calories. We have our ingredients list right here. If you're interested in that. Buttermilk biscuits, gravy mix, and pork sausage crumble. And then on our standard buttermilk biscuits gravy mix and pork sausage crumble um i mean i i looked through these beforehand and uh i you know i'm sure that there are some differences here but at any rate you can check that out if you want just pause or don't i don't care <laughs> um and then uh, preparation instructions, cup and a half of water or 350 mils, uh, two and a fourth cup of water or 532 mils. Again, this is a bigger pouch, so there you go. But I wanted to try these and uh, and just see if the classic's better than the, than the current or vice versa. I do kind of like the packaging though. It's very retro 70s. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll get some water going in it. Uh, get it, you know, rehydrating, and then we'll see which one reigns supreme. Take that out, of course. Looking good. Mmm, smell that sage. Definitely can sell, can sell the sage. Smell the sage. <laughs> All right, and then our standard that you can get anywhere. They, oh, well. A little bit's gone. It's fine. Let's just sweep that. Just get that out of here. Just real slow off camera. It's fine. They smell the same. They smell the absolute same. So while I am preparing these, I'm just going to remind you all that, uh, you know, follow the instructions. The instructions are usually pretty good on these. The fine folks at Mountain House and all the other ration companies that we do on the channel, uh, they research this stuff. So they know what they're talking about. But for me, I generally add about enough water to get our product to the consistency that I'd like to see it uh, when it's done. And then I'll add a little bit more water just to, uh, you know, get it enough to reconstitute. Things like rice or rations that have rice, uh, beans, and a few other things, they, they might take a little bit more water uh, just to aid in the reconstitution. But this one will take a little bit. That bread does a, it does a pretty good number on the, on the old water. But anyway, follow the instructions as always. It's a good thing. And make sure you're really scraping the sides and getting this mixed thoroughly. I've had some comments that say I mix too much, but that's largely because I don't want to get a whole big old mouthful of powder when I go to, uh, to eat. And we'll add our water to our standard pack here. Knock that off, mix this up. And again, get down in all the crevices and make sure this has a fine mix so we're not eating powder. A little bit more in there, I think. And this is one that we're gonna want a little thicker uh, anyway. Nice thick 
that gravy is always preferable, but I also am trying my best to not destroy all of our little biscuit pieces. We don't want to destroy biscuit pieces at all. And again, just a little bit more. And once we sort of, uh, you know, set these aside, get these all buttoned up and set them aside so that they can sort of reconstitute for us, I will usually check, you know, within about, you know, five minutes, five, six minutes to see if we need to add any more water. Uh, generally speaking, we don't, but, you know, sometimes we do. And also, it's pretty darn hard to take water out. It's easier to add more water, though, so. Okay, we're gonna leave these to sit for, you know, 10, 12 minutes, give or take. We'll come back, get them on a tray, and figure out which one reigns supreme. All right, so we're back. I did add a little bit more water to each of our biscuits and gravy here. Um, they needed it. <laughs> they were basically a brick of bread uh, when I opened them up. So both look pretty similar in the package. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of both out here on the tray. We won't, uh, we won't take the whole bag out here, I don't think. I think we're, we're okay with, with a taste, you know. Of course, now the bag doesn't want to cooperate with, you know, setting up all nice in the background. Thanks, bag. All right, we'll get a little, whoo, that's still very hot. A little bit of our, you know, pretty much standard biscuits and gravy there as well. All right. Oh, 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 no, the spoon's going to knock it all over. There we go. <laughs> so classic and standard. I'm going to start with, you know, basically what I'm used to. This is our standard biscuits and gravy. You can get this anywhere. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Yep, I would recognize that anywhere. Um, you know, very creamy consistency, almost sort of milky. A little bit of pepper in there. Get a little bit of that sage coming through, but nothing too major. It's a very consistent, good, honest product. And yeah, it's, it's just, it's really good. Let's get into this one. Not tried this one before. I'm very curious. <sighs> Moment of truth. Hmm. Get a little bit more. Make it fair. So I got to say this, guys. Basically the same. <laughs> Basically the same. I would say that the original, or excuse me, the current recipe doesn't carry as much of the sage flavor as this classic original recipe does. Get a little bit more on here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So a little bit more of the sage is present in our classic recipe. I must think a little bit more of the salt comes through in this one, whereas potentially maybe after I get another bite of here, I'm just enjoying eating biscuits and gravy. Perhaps a little bit more of the pepper comes through in our current iteration. Yeah. But the actual basis, you know, the, the sort of milky creaminess of the gravy is darn near the same. I wouldn't be able to differentiate much there. So, yeah, not as peppery. More sage, less pepper. Less sage, more pepper. But altogether, about the same. So if you want three servings, maybe get this original recipe. Try it out or just get the standard and, and you're really going to be 
just as fine with that. Mm. Mm. But I got to say the real winner is just you guys and me. Because dead serious, Mountain House makes some of the, I mean I said it earlier, Mountain House makes some of the, you know, just the most consistent products on the market. Mm. And their biscuits and gravy just hits right where it needs to be. But whether you go with the standard that you can find anywhere or the original recipe that I haven't seen very many places, you're going to do very well. They're both very good. They both get a big old thumbs up. Wouldn't even need to add anything. A little hot sauce might do it some good from time to time. But either or, great. Great breakfast to have out on the trail. So, in the comments below, let me know what you thought. If you've tried both of these or one or the other, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to have your input. More specifically, if any of you have tried both of them, maybe I'm out of my mind, maybe you're uh, you know, tasting something different, leave it in the comments along with any suggestions for future videos. If you'd like to send something into the channel to be reviewed, the PO box is in the description along with the Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. You don't have to, but it's there if you want to. And then, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.